long time ago, when mankind was still in its cradle, visitors came from the skies. They were called the Osiris. These gods gave us unimaginable gifts, the likes of which we had never dreamed of before. Astronomy, architecture, culture. But all this came at a price. The Osiris wanted Earth for themselves. The Pharaoh, the greatest man of all, together with the god of sunlight, Ra, opposed this threat to their people. Just when the visitors prepared to summon their kin to come to Earth, an opportunity arising only once every 5,000 years when the stars align in the right order, the Pharaoh stole the light from the Osiris, blinding them with its brilliance, leaving them imprisoned in a dungeon hidden in the labyrinth below his pyramid. But some still believed in the visitor's way and prepared for the time of their return. So did the Princess Amanpour. Ah! Take the baby and run from here. She is the last of the bloodline. Give thanks to the gods. The worship of Osiris will be buried with her. Praise for her journey to the next world. She will be laid to rest in the glory of Ra! Without the Pharaoh's knowledge, hidden deep below the princess's pyramid grave, a gate was constructed. When the stars align once more, the visitors would again be welcomed by a descendant of the princess's bloodline. But the pharaoh mistrusted his princess even in death, so he made a key, the key of heaven, to lock in tightly whatever secrets she may have kept from him. A guardian was created to protect the two. And he made sure that no one would tell the secrets of the tomb builders, so that the Osiris could never return. For if they did, their revenge would be terrible. A rain of fire would scorch the earth, and every man, woman, and child would die. Only loyal servants of the Osiris would be rewarded and turned into gods themselves. Once again, the stars are approaching their alignment, but the key of heaven has been lost. The bloodline seems to have vanished. Until now. You're late. The geese are traffic again, huh? Uh, what can I say? It was horrible. But you look beautiful. <laughs> I'm sweating and I'm dusty. Too many hours playing Tomb Raider, Mr. Adler. Where is he? In the tent. But take a look at this before you go see him. It's beautiful. You are amazing. That game's really screwed your brains up. <laughs> Seven days. They built these pyramids, you see, to, to mirror exactly what they saw in the heavens. That mirror image only reappears once every 5,000 years. In seven days' time, the image will be complete again. I checked again last night with Mandela. They found nothing. Tell him to widen the search area. Tell him money is now no object. We are running out of time. We're late for Calfani. Gotta go and deal with that thieving goat. Get the driver. Yep, Marston, yep. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted 
tomorrow. Not the next week, not next month, tomorrow. Master Tim has confirmed the dates. Exactly in one week. Oh. We have to find the entrance. You know the tomb's right here. I do not understand why we can't locate it. It's here. It has to be. We need to extend the dig. Did you organize the light so we can work through the night? It's being delivered today. The bad news is, is there is a, uh, a storm coming in. Oh, great. Should we go inside? Tired, Professor. Have you eaten today? <laughs> Too hot. <laughs> you got it. You do not want to know how. Why are museum staff so damn stuffy? Living with relics? <laughs> like people who start looking like their dogs. Now, you tell me that's not a visiting ship of some kind. That could be the symbol of a flying god. Yeah. You know, Egypt changed so fast at this time that no man suddenly advanced a great civilization. Oh, it changed fast, all right. Like today. <laughs> and just like today, a cynic would regard you as a bit of a crank. <laughs> well, I'm as cynical as the best of them. But I'm telling you, something strange went on here. Key of heaven. That's very particular. You have it, I want it. Can we do business? You understand I have a, another interested party willing to pay handsomely. Such an item would warrant a most serious offer. I'm a most serious man. And you would be? Mr. Levitz, come with me. I trust no one followed you here. Nobody got anywhere near me. Do you know the legend of the Key of Heaven? Yes, yes, it was handed down since Egyptian times by a sect of priests until it went missing. Lost. Lost, Mr. Levitz, in the mist of time. Rumored to be linked to the mysterious Princess of Manpo. How do I know it's genuine? How do I know you can afford such a treasure? Hitler once sent archaeologists here to search for it. 
but it remained hidden until now. These are the carbon testing results. He valued it as priceless, Mr. Levitz. What about you? Let me see it first. Mind a trade. This fine stick. 19th century. <laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> really joke. I'm a most serious man. Mr. Calfani! Mr. Calfani! Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God. I understand you seek a certain key. Levitz? Well, it's just changed hands. You murdering bastard. Do tell me where you are. I'm not going to call the police and have you arrested. On the way. She'll be with you any minute. That beautiful walking stick that killed him is yours. There's your fingerprints all over it, and, uh, well... Motivation is clearly proven, Professor. You swine. What do you want? Money? It isn't a question of money, is it? How undignified. I want participation. Your walking stick goes to the police with a witness. You won't get away with this. What do we do? Uh, Claire, I need her advice. Someone around you just died. It's one of the things I came to talk to you about. This storm is not an accident. A secret is revealed. You're given something. A key. You will complete your mission in the next days. The great bird, Sothis. Swimmer in the blood of men. This fire... This fire will be again. 
What is it, Claire? The sign of Osiris risen. The sign of Osiris dead. I must know. No! Claire! What is it? I need to know. Nothing. Just a bad dream. I'll leave you now. You've been very helpful. Yes, of course I've told him. On his way now, yes. Thank you. What does he mean? Professor Mandela insists you see for yourself. Very well, then let us see for ourselves. What is it I am not suspected to believe? What have you got for me? Look for the storm uncovered. We thought it was all over. Find the entrance for me. My dear man, you've already started. Assemble the rest of the team. Call Sarah in London. Tell her her father needs her. Masterton. Professor Mendel is exhausted, as you can see for yourself. He hasn't slept in weeks. Can we delay it? He needs the rest. Dr. Adler, that pyramid is an astronomical observatory dedicated to a celestial event that occurs once every 5,000 years. The next occurrence is at 1237 on Thursday the 12th of this month. Three days. Three days, Dr. Adler. I will be inside that pyramid in three days. Deciphered what I can. Some panels damaged, some missing. You're right. Came to get you home. Gotta prepare for tomorrow. We're packing them for the night. All right. Maybe I can persuade Masterton to delay a few days. Mm -hmm. That would be preferable. <laughs> but he's calculated his timing from his astrological studies. He won't change. All right. Have a good night. Night. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<lacht> Ihr Klein, das ist hier. Das ist die neue Pyramid. Amazing, isn't it? Do you watch the crap as well? <laughs> uh, my friend, this is a mysterious country. Oh, you should know that. You married a beautiful uh, Egyptian woman. People have a habit of disappearing. I'm just protecting my investment. And what would that investment be? You see. You see. <laughs> Au revoir. The key of heaven. Without it, you can't enter the tomb. I too have been researching the legend of the sun gods for some years now. I will buy it off. You name your price. Oh, money up front, I don't need that, Master Tim. If the legend is true, this pyramid being exposed will seem to confirm things. There are riches beyond belief buried in there. This is my mission. Well, I'm coming with you whether you like it or not. <laughs> I am following an explicit set of instructions that were laid down over 5,000 years ago. There's no place for you in. There is now. The walking stick, with your fingerprints all over it, is approaching the police station as we speak. Now, if I don't call my man in a... Let's see. Three minutes. The delivery takes place, and bye-bye pyramids. You're bluffing. Calfani didn't think so. Only tomb you're likely to visit is your own in a Cairo prison cell. Not a good place to be. Bring the key and my stick to my office tomorrow <laughs> and you can come. Yeah, I'll hand the key over inside Princess Amonfor's tomb when we enter together. The stick stays with me. Stop the delivery. Not okay. Look, Doug. You've studied with me for over four years now. You will have to go. I don't have a millionth of your experience or knowledge. I, I mean, how can I go? I mean, you belittle yourself. You've got a very strong instinct for this field. Just go back to your basic knowledge. You, I mean, you can decipher this. You've done it before. Calling it off. It has to be tomorrow. You know what Masterton said about the position of Earth. Look, there is more to this pyramid than meets the eye. It's not just the burial place of Princess Amanpour. That, that is a cloak. It's just part of the mystery. Look. The symbol suggests Osiris. You have to go. Don't worry. I'll, I'll survive. I promise. You better. You must be Sarah. Yes. I'm Ahmed. Your father sent me. He's waiting for you at the office. Is the rest of the team here? The rest coming tonight, please. Sarah. It 
It's been too long. You knew where I was? Yes, well, since your mother died, things have been a little frantic around here. I'd like to visit her grave before we begin. Welcome. sang the song for me when I couldn't sleep. Do you remember? Of the great princess Amanpour and her fantastic kingdom. And of one day when the rain turned into fire. But the princess's children wouldn't have to fear a thing. And you call me little princess. I like that. Now I'll find what happened to you. I promise. Hi. Hi. Can you tell me where the conference room is, please? Yes, I'll check for you, sir. Thank you. Dr. Adler. This is Miss Masterton. I cannot seem to find Professor Mandela. My father arranged for him to meet us for drinks at his villa. Do you think you could get him there now? Well, he's rather tired. Is there any way we can delay the meeting a few hours? My father didn't fly me halfway across the world for me to wait while he sleeps. The villa in half an hour. Dr. Adler. Hi. I thought I was a little short with you on the phone earlier, so I called to apologize and I saw you answer. Where is Mandela? Can, can we talk for a moment? I don't have much time. My father expects me in a few minutes. Professor Mandela's in the hospital. He's critical. He had a heart attack and he asked me to come in his place. With all due respect, Dr. Adler, you hardly qualify. Mandela's been working with my father for years. Plus, he's unique in his field. You, what are you? I guess you'll never know, will you? Sarah, this is Adam. He'll be working with us. He helped to set this up. I've heard so much about you. And, of course, your mother. Really? I must go to the hotel, meet the others. Who is he? I'll fill you in later. Did you find Mandela? He's not coming. What? He had a heart attack. He's in intensive care. Look, he did send his assistant along, uh, Dr. Adler. Where is he? I was so shocked, I think I upset him. He left. Does this Dr. Adler know anything? He has worked closely with Professor Mandela for the last four years. True, and Professor Mandela doesn't suffer fools. This could be a disaster. I was a little rude back there. Look, Miss Masterton, I don't want to do this any more than you want me to. That's not the point, Mr. Adler. It's Doctor. 
Doctor, could you come and join us at the private bar at the Sphinx Hotel? I'm really sorry I was rude. I had no place to be. Well, I'm, uh... I'll be there. Accepted. A very beautiful sky this morning, and yet you all look at me. I'm Professor Rohit Singh from India, and you must be... Doug Adler, you must be the antiquities expert. Antiquities and future. Where is Professor Mandela? Ah, every piece of the jigsaw puzzle is now on board. Rohit? Professor Masterton. Welcome. Thank you. All present and correct. With the exception of Professor Mandela, who sadly cannot be with us today. Professor Masterton, Where I'm sorry. Where is Mandela? Mandela suffered a heart attack in the early hours of the morning. Oh, my God. His ability to decipher the indecipherable has been of immense value to my studies. However, Dr. Adler here has been uh, Mandela's assistant, and he has volunteered to take his place. Excuse me, Professor Masterton. Professor Mandela is the foremost authority in his field. And for this journey, we need, uh, we need an expert. Yes, well, we shall just have to make do with what we have. Dr. Adler has worked with Professor Mandela for the past four years. He's far better qualified than some crusty historian we dig up at the last minute. Yeah, yeah. It must be wonderful to carry all your knowledge in your head. And some might be surprised not to see you weighed down with uh, research materials. I don't see your back bent under the strain of credentials, Mr. Levitz. If I may be so bold as to ask you what brought you your passage on this journey. It takes more than knowledge to violate history. Violate? If we were to dig up Queen Victoria, we'd be called violators, would we not? Well, it depends what you plan on doing with her. <laughs> <laughs> My friends, every one of you is necessary for this expedition. Every single one. Now, today, we shall go deeper into the history of this mysterious land than any has gone before. I believe that what we will find will change history. To Egypt. Pyramids. Egypt. Something wrong? These soldiers. They weren't here yesterday. <sighs> Magnificent, isn't it? Shrouded in mystery. My father searched his whole life for this. And was here to help him. No, it's my first trip with him. My mother brought me up alone. Yeah, you chose his profession. To look for things long lost. Psychiatrists would have a field day with that, wouldn't they? Yeah. Mr. Saeed here is a representative of the Egyptian government. He would like to address you, hopefully briefly, on the miracle that has given this mystery back to the world. The Professor Masterton speaks of a miracle, yet how close it was to a disaster. Oh, come now, Saeed. You should have more faith in the ancient gods of Egypt. This was intended. 
the biggest sandstorm in history uncover the resting place of what we believe is the tomb of Princess Amanpur. When the rest of the world was huddling in caves, this stood. When Christ was being crucified, it was already under the sand. When Christopher Columbus was sailing the oceans, it was hidden, waiting. Waiting for us. We came here tonight. We enter the tomb at dawn. Here I am, and I don't even know my own father. Well, maybe this is your chance. I mean, he asked you to come, didn't he? Not because he wanted me. Because he needed me. I never liked him. We don't choose our parents, Sarah. Sometimes we just find them. Professor Mendel has more like a father to me than my own. Where's your mother? She died here ten years ago. Hmm. She went out alone one night to the pyramids. They found her body there the next morning. The police say she was robbed and killed for her money and jewelry. And you don't believe it? I don't know what to believe. My mother was a very strong and intuitive woman. <laughs> she might have driven out alone, but it just seems unlikely that she would get herself in a situation where she'd be mugged. I sense you're very much like her. Thank you for saying so. <laughs> well, I am sorry, Sarah. I mean, if there's anything that I can do. You have by listening to me. Don't worry about me, okay? That is unacceptable. Uh, okay, well, two soldiers, the major and myself, go with you. Agree? Agreed. Okay. What does it say? No one may enter this tomb and return alive. Only the ones chosen by the gods will endure. He's right. That's what it says. Nothing like a good curse.
Break it down. Why are you letting them destroy the hieroglyphics? Are you done? Seal it! Because they seal the entrance, and it's the only way in. Hello. Hornets. Just look. We can't get through. Hey, we'll get away. Back away. Slowly. All right, everyone. Move back. Calmly. It is traps. They set trays of food by in the chambers. I have a feeling we should go back. Yeah, I know the feeling. Come on. This is the sort of area where they like to set traps. Would they work after all this time? How they like me. We found the skeletons of many tomb robbers who thought just like you, Mr. Levitz. Criminals who couldn't resist the gold. Levitz, stop! Levitz! Nobody move. Everybody, stay exactly where you are. Everybody stand perfectly still. Mr. Levitz, put the statue back.
everyone remain where you are. The room is unfortunately now armed. Mr. Singh, would you cast your eyes up ahead? Those tiles down there, I'm sure they have some surprises in store for us. Try and see if there's a sequence. We have to get out of here. And how would you say we do that? Other than by going ahead and following the prescribed path. What do you mean? We are sealed in. There must be a way out. We just have to find it. Our mission is to find the tomb and whatever lies beyond it. Now, take heart, everybody. We can still do this. Claire knows, don't you, Claire? No alternative but to go on now. I think I have it. Provided that our friends believed in symmetry. Two to my left. Stop! Take your weight off the tile. Take the back. Sequences of the tile. Yes. You assumed the zero to M base. Right. Well, wasn't the concept of zero invented much later? Good point. One up. Two right. One forward. Two right. One forward. Two right. Well done, Mr. Rohit. Thank you. Be careful. Lean on. It's one forward, two right. One forward, two right. One forward, two right. Careful, slow. One forward, two right. There's another smaller shaft here. It's useless if you sealed on the other side. Dr. Radler, I need your expertise. But he doesn't know anything. And what if he gets you wrong? We're all dead. Shut up, Levitz. If anyone knows nothing, it's you. I took the shaft. I'll go with him. I'll go back the way we came. In case we've missed anything. Symbols. This place. You ever get? Deja vu. I live with it daily. Heightened psyche since I was a child. Something wanted you here. Yeah. Why don't you ask your guys what it is, would you? Because I sure as hell would like to know. What do you know about Masterton and my mother? We all have skeletons in our closet. Meaning what exactly? Wherever we're headed down here. Nothing was going to deter his plan and no one was going to stop him achieving it, whatever the cost. What do you mean? I can't say any more than that. This is 
strange. It's a man. Maybe Kraft. Too many coincidences have occurred not to take it seriously. Here is a classic example. Look at the way a man has been portrayed. Egyptians mummified their gods and pharaohs believing that they had the secret of eternal life. Hmm. This is a recording of a mummification process. They didn't discover it. It was brought to them. Look, look. It's a machine of some kind. I've seen exactly the same in Peru, in Mexico, even in India we have the same. Now you tell me how they got there. The sleeper shall awaken. The sleeper shall awaken. The earth will tremble at his feet. Claire? Swimmer in the blood of men. The sign of Osiris risen. The sign of Osiris dead. And the way shall be open to the true rulers of the true God. What have you found? My guess is that there's a door here. My guess is my, my guess is you're fucking with our lives! Ancient Egyptian was over five foot two in height. Watch your step here. Princess Amipur. Masterson claims that my mother was the direct bloodline of Osiris. She was. The bustle is revealing its secrets. Roll up shit creek. Let's fight this off! <laughs> Little the coffin. Let's get rid of that. Princess Amandor. Men have not seen her face for 5,000 years. Princess Amandor! Was a pharaoh's home! Burial here is a red herring to conceal the true nature of a place. But the tomb is history! History is written by kings and by gods. Levitz, the time has come. The key. The key of heaven. The key. From Mandela, this 
was the Holy Grail. We both knew it existed. Some scholars said it was just a myth. Hitler searched for this. But it was destined to come to my hands. Here for mere golden trinkets. Real treasure lies hidden deep below this glittering facade. This place is like a labyrinth. Precision of language, Adam. Not like a labyrinth, it is a labyrinth. A labyrinth of traps. Yeah, but the treasure. Do you know where it's located? I believe that we will find the treasure in the deepest and most dangerous part of the labyrinth. The treasure lost for more than 5,000 years. The lost temple of Osiris. Bloody myth! I don't like the look of this. I will go first. You'll follow. You, Levitz, will be last. You've done enough damage today. Now, very carefully. Find another way. Here. Keep coming. Here, hold this. The slaves often built escape routes. Master Thorn. We need to keep going down!
fell down, broke his neck. Should we go back up? We don't know what made him fall. What is it? Who's there? Listen to me, Levitz, you corrupt and evil little man. One of the big mysteries of history is how Egyptian civilization began. How it sprang up fully clothed on the banks of the Nile. Well, perhaps its origins were elsewhere. The answer to that is the treasure that we seek. Shall awaken? What? Swimmer in the blood of men? What's the deal? I don't know. Rohit is an expert in antiquities. Levis has his key. Adam kisses ass. What about you? I'm just a channeler. I channel messages from out there from him. Something's wrong. Something's really wrong. <laughs> Doc! It's you! Rahit, what the hell are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm spooked. There's something out to us. I found the soldier. He fell. Still alive. This way. by the light. What did they see? Victims of the sun. They are not human. Fuck is that? 
He's a rat. Mr. Levitz, do try not to be hysterical. Just a rat. Look at you. Like a bunch of scared schoolboys in a graveyard. A little nervousness is hardly surprising. Some of our party are dead, Levitz. That's because of you. If there's a jinx, you're it. Fingerprints all over it. Just, just, what was that thing over there? What was it? That thing. Some of the uh, ancient texts allude to a guardian who was uh, hidden in the pyramid by the followers of Ra. It was designed to be triggered whenever an intruder entered the tomb. But that will not stop me! 
that will not stop me. You'll kill it like you killed my mother. It's not from here. In all those years, my theory's been rejected and laughed at. Look! Doug, find me a way in. It's your only chance of getting Sarah out of here. Do not look for the obvious. This is Christian. Osiris. The sign of Osiris risen. The sign of Osiris dead. Right. The oldest form of the name was written by means of two hieroglyphics. One which represents a throne, and the other the eye. The way shall be open. On the brow of the god, the great bird Sothis. Sothis was sometimes called Sirius the Dog Star. Sirius was the pole star seen on the sky when the pyramids were built. That's it. Dog, hurry, please. Fera, walk through the membrane. You are the key. Some kind of ancient power generator here. Hey! Back up, cowboy. We don't need you anymore. No, Doug, Doug! What are you doing? The genetic signature of the Princess Amonpour oh is preserved intact only in the direct female bloodline. You are directly descended. Princess Amon poor. We need your blood. Let her go! No. 
mother had cooperated, she would have been here to witness the resurrection. If she had cooperated. She would have sat beside me upon this throne to inaugurate a new era of human history, but she refused me. Let the sleepers awake.
Oh my god. Pretty brave back there. You saved my life, thank you. No, thank you. They're out there, waiting to return. 